Good morning. I'm Dr. Blanche Gruby, president of the IABDM. And for those who know me personally, you know that I have waited a very long year to do this. <laughs> Dawn made this for me last year and I could not make the meeting because the day before the meeting I had an emergency hernia surgery. So I'm very happy to be wearing it finally, one year later. We'll talk about extending the presidency later, okay? One more year, one more year. That's right, one more year. I would like to welcome you all to Vienna, Virginia and to this meeting. A little more than 18 months ago, 12 leaders of this organization went through a five-day transformation. During that transformation, we focused on what was most important, in both our personal lives and the life of this organization. We took responsibility for the total past of IABDM and for the future. We declared IABDM to be the go-to organization of the future. My personal vision for IABDM as the go-to healthcare organization was that we would first and foremost be an organization that maintained a level of integrity. I'll say that again, a level of integrity that simply is not seen in all of the healthcare organizations. By that I mean, and I'm going to paraphrase Bishop Fulton J. Sheen. By that I mean an organization where truth was stated even though none of the other healthcare organizations believe it. And where a lie is shown to be nothing more than a lie, even though all of the other health professionals believe it to be so. Just 50 years ago, the information a patient received about their own health problems was limited by what their physician or dentist told them. And unfortunately, sometimes the amount of information they received was not sufficient for them to make an intelligent decision about their own health care. Or it was biased by what the physician wanted them to know. Most of them were told what they had to do and how their present illness, illness was going to be managed by the doctor. Very little was said about real health care. I'm going to steal a line right now from Dr. Ella McElway because she told me this morning that she prefers the word wellness to health care because health care denotes just absence of disease. I like that, Ella. Thank you very much. Now the general public has access to information via the internet at speeds never seen before. At least once a week, I have a patient give me a piece of information that I didn't know. So we have now the patients teaching the doctor who's supposed to be the teacher. There is both great information available on the internet and unfortunately, some not so great information. A lot of truth and a lot of lies. As practitioners, we have the responsibility of sorting it all out and deciding for ourselves and for our patients what is truth and what is not. We can now see that in the very near future, thanks to the efforts of the United Nation, mercury will be phased out worldwide. Once mercury is eliminated from medicine and dentistry, all dental offices will be mercury free. Just think about that. You won't be able to put in the yellow pages, mercury free office, so what? All offices will be mercury free. All dental offices. And the distinction that we hold as biological practitioners will be refined even further. As an organization, we have never been only 
about being mercury free. We have always known and taught that there's a lot more to solving our patients' health concerns. And so to that end, we have always included the slightly esoteric modalities that work best for our patients. We have accepted the responsibility of staying abreast with the latest information and new treatment modalities. And to that responsibility, we have created unique forms of continuing education. We are the first and only organization to host many meetings throughout the United States and Canada, making it less expensive and more convenient to go to meetings. We were the first to offer the only board certified biological dentist, IABDM, you always have to put those little letters there, and board certified biological practitioners. To also answer that responsibility, we created this meeting and requested that the best of the best in our field of practice come and share with us what they have discovered as truth. Dr. Ella McElway will share with us how in her 30 years of practice, her use of homeopathic medicines have created remarkable improvements in patients without the side effects of traditionally prescribed drugs. When I was in the hospital having my hernia surgery, they kept pumping me up with morphine. And I have to admit, I had a smile on my face in the beginning. As a matter of fact, my husband quoted, wow, look at you, you're really smiling. Yeah, I'm on morphine. And then as the days progressed, I could feel the side effects of the morphine. And it wasn't until Dr. Ella McElway had sent my husband a 1M dose of Arnica. My husband had to sneak it into the hospital. We literally, he literally looked up the hallway, down the hallway, had to make sure nobody was watching. And we opened up this envelope of contraband. And he slid it under my tongue. And one hour later, I was out of pain. We need that kind of health care in the United States. We need to be able to incorporate morphine when morphine is needed and arnica when arnica is needed. Dr. Mark Starr will share with us the truth about thyroid hormone replacement and how it affects so many bodily systems all at once. Dr. Brendan Stack will explode the belief systems in our mind that determine the true cause of Parkinson's disease and its debilitating symptoms. Dr. Christopher Shade will clear the foggy world of detoxification once again and give us an understandable methodology and protocol that works. Dr. Hal Huggins will change our paradigm once again when it comes to the amount of a toxic element that can create dis-ease in the body. The old LD50, lethal dose 50, will go flying out the window along with the ADA's belief in a safe level of mercury in the body. And last but not least, Dr. Joe Mercola, the king of giving out truth in the form of int information to the public on the internet, will enlighten us in how well he does that. I thank all of you who have sacrificed yet another weekend to be here. We all know that you could have been spent this weekend somewhere else. But know that you will all be rewarded because this weekend we are the go-to organization. And we have orchestrated this weekend so that you will come away with truth and hopefully have a good time sharing your truths with your fellow colleagues. Thank you.